Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is reorder list. This is actually my second video because my microphone seems to have broken, so I apologize for the audio. Thanks, Penal, for letting me know. Given a singly linked list, ordered 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth, reorder it to 0, n, 1, n minus 1, 2, so on and so forth. You may not modify the values in the list nodes, only the nodes itself may be changed. So we're going to have to rebuild our linked list. If we're given the example 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to reorder it to 1, 4, 2, 3. So it's kind of like starting at the first one, then the last, then the second, then the second to last, so on and so forth. It's almost like a spiral pattern or a zigzag, if you, if, if, if you will. Okay, so one approach that we could do is go through our linked list and use a queue or a stack to get the order first. So say that we go through one, two, three, four. Uh, we can start off by creating a queue or a stack to store the order. After that, we could rebuild our linked list by popping the one on the left first, then pointing that to the popping the one on the very right. So now it's gonna be popped off here. And then point to the first one again, and then point to the last one. So. We could do that. That seems to be the most straightforward method. Um, and we'll have to use some sort of Boolean to know when to flip from the very first one to the last one. And and we'll, we'll get through that. So let's first start off by initializing a queue. And then we're going to what? Build this queue up, right? So to do that, what I'm gonna do is create a dummy pointer. That's just gonna be a list node with zero and this is going to point to the head and this will allow us to create our loops um, a little bit easier so while we'll first have our current pointer we'll have to store a pointer that points to the current node and that's going to point first to dummy.next and we'll say hey while there's a cur add this node to the queue so to the queue we'll just append our current node then we'll just move up our current pointer to the next one that's going to give us the order that we want, like one, two, three, four, and it's just going to be in the queue now. All right, so once we have that set, let's reset our pointer to, to the dummy, and we'll need to have some sort of Boolean to know when to pop left or when to pop the, the most right. So what I'm going to do is call a even Boolean, and this will indicate to us whether we're on an odd index or an even index, um, and I'm going to make it one index here to make it a little bit easier to understand. So while there's a cur, again, um, uh, let's see. While there's a cur, we'll first have to pop off from our queue, right? I'll just say what I'm saying, while there's a cur, um, I'm realizing that we don't need the cur here. We're gonna be using our queue. So first we're gonna pop off depending on whether it's odd or even. So if it's even, we wanna pop off the right one right otherwise we want to pop off the left one so we'll do this in a one-liner we'll say node get our pop if it's even we want to pop the very last one and otherwise we want to pop the one on the very left so we can do pop left here so that will know that will give us what node that we want to use so uh, first we want to say all right um, for this node let's erase everything that it's pointing to because that's not gonna matter anymore since we'll be rebuilding this. Then we're going to say, all right, for cur.next, um, starting at the dummy pointer, we'll start with the head, make this equal to the node. Then just increase our current pointer to the next. And let's flip our Boolean. We can do that by using an XOR operator uh, to true, because so then when it's, when it's false, it's gonna flip to true, and when it's true, it's gonna flip, flip to false. After that, that's it. We can just return our head. That's gonna give us our reordered linked list. So let's make sure I didn't make any typos. And time complexity wise, this is an O of N. Looks like it's working. Let's submit it. Which basically is optimal. We're gonna have to go through this whole linked list no matter what. But there is a downside to this approach and that's with this queue. Because of this queue, this is gonna require some extra memory. It'll be um, O of N extra memory. So could we do this without using extra memory? And that's gonna prove a lot trickier. So say that we don't wanna use any extra memory. How could we do that? Well, let's say that we had like an example like this, right? 
there's a couple of ways to kind of see this pattern of what we're trying to do. Like say we're trying to do this whole zigzag thing, right? So the middle note here is very important. If we split this into two lists and reversed the second half like this, then you kind of see that there's a way that we could merge these two lists by having one pointer starting at the first half and another pointer at the second half and just merge these two uh, in this order because this is the exact order that we're looking for. It's one, seven, two, six, three, five, four. And we won't need an extra data structure to account for this. What we'll have to do is, let's break this out into steps. First, we're going to um, find the middle node and there's a variety of ways that we can do that, but I'll go through it in a bit. Uh, once we do that, we need to reverse the second half of the linked list. And finally, we want to merge the first half and the second half together. And once we do that, there's no need for another data structure, right? We can just do that in place with these, uh, with these nodes. Okay, so to do that, let's first start with having to account for um, no head. So if not head, we'll just return an empty list. And now we want, want to find the middle node. And to do that, there's a couple methods, but uh, one way you can do that is having a slow and fast pointer. And what you'll do is you'll increment the slow pointer. You'll start at the beginning of the head. And the slow pointer will increment by one, while the fast pointer will increment by two. And as soon as that fast pointer reaches the end, that slow pointer should be at the middle node. Uh, so that's one way you can do it. Uh, let's do that and say slow and fast are both pointing to the head. And we'll say while there's still a fast, and you're going to say fast.next and fast.next.next, uh, because we'll be incrementing that by two. We'll just increase our slow by to slow.next, and fast will go to fast.next.next. Next. So at this point, once we're at this loop, this slow pointer should be pointing to the very middle node. So great, now we need to reverse our second half. And if you've seen other lead code problems before, to reverse a linked list, you'll have to have basically three pointers. You'll have to have one um, pointing to the previous, one for the current, and one like temporary spot where that's gonna store uh, the current node so that we could go ahead and reverse that. All right, so let's first initialize our previous pointer and our current pointer. Previous in the beginning will point to none and current will point to slow, but actually it's going to be point, point to slow.next because that's going to be the second half. The slow pointer is actually pointing to the end of the first one. So while there's a cur, what do we want to do? Well, let's first store our temp. That's going to be the next current pointer. And then we want to what restructure this, right? So our cur.next is going to be equal to previous. Um, and now this previous one is going to be equal to the current pointer. And um, let's see, current dot next equals previous. And then, oh, right. So this current pointer now we need to uh, use for the next one. So this is going to be the attempt because this was initially pointing to the next one, right? So now we point, since we lost that here, we've stored it. And now we're going to move to the next one, uh, reversing this whole linked list all while. So at this point, we have our second half of the linked list reversed. It should look something like so like seven, six, five. And now what we'll do is have two pointers, one here and one here. And we're going to go ahead and build this up uh, depending on which part we're pointing to. Um, add to our head the next what the next pointer. Like this head one is now going to point to head two. And after that this one's going to point to the next one this one points to like this. Okay, so to do that, let's have two pointers. We're going to call it head one and head two. One will be pointing to, well, head, and the other will be pointing to what? Uh, I guess we'll use this previous here, because that's going to be now going to be the one that's pointing to the second half, the head of the second half. Okay, so while, while there's a head two, because that, that's all that matters here, um, first store temp for the um, well head one's next because that's going to be what's going to be the next head two and head one dot next is now going to be equal to head two right 
Yes. So head one now. It has to. Um, yes. To get this to work now, head one equals head two, and head two is going to be equal to that temp variable that we stored, and this is going to be able to go through like it's kind of like passing it along as we move along, and finally, if we finish this, we can just return the head. All right. So this should work. Um, let's make sure that I didn't make any typos. And again, this is still of O of n time complexity. The advantage here, though, is that there's no extra memory being used. Oh, found a cycle in our list. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Cancel that next. Hmm. Okay, so I, I think I know what I did wrong. Uh, right here, I'm pretty sure it's just reversing a second half. Currently, it's pointing to like two spots, and we can't have that. So this slow dot next will have to equal none. Pretty sure that's right. So let's go ahead and submit it again. Okay, so that looks like it's working. Let's submit that. All right, and that's accepted. So this is another way you can do it. Much trickier, but again, you don't need to have another data structure to store the pointers. So this probably is better, ultimately. All right, so um, thanks for watching my channel. And you know, someday I might go into data structures in Python, especially like things like linked lists. Um, but that's for another day. It's be a lot more work, and I don't think I'm ready yet. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.